Okay, Juanitosville, we are back in the spot, friends. You know what it is. Another jewelry adventure. I was commissioned by a an artist, a musician, entrepreneur, uh, to do a pendant for him for with his logo on it. And this is his logo. A two-dimensional pendant of this. I think that would be pretty easy. But... Easy is not always the best way to go about it, especially when you're an artist and you're out here trying to make your dreams come true, friends. What I'm going to try to do is, well, not I think, I'm going to, if you can see this, I did uh, some of it with copper. I wanted to see if I can make it three-dimensional, guys. Um, something I've never done before. A little bit of pounding and chasing and, and to get it, I don't... I think this is going to work. I might need to make this bottom part a little bit longer so that it kind of the bottom of the face of the bear kind of has dimension back to the bottom. 22 gauge, friends. I wanted to do it all in uh, silver, the hat in gold, jeweler's brass specifically. I'm going to make the distinction between the eyes and the ears is going to be some kind of texture. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that yet, but I know for sure on the nose. But I'm going to make the nose a little bit bigger out of, of a separate piece. It's going to be a little bit bigger and it's going to sit over the top. So the dimension of this nose is going to be something like this, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know how it's going to, how exactly I'm going to do it, but I know I will. Put on your seatbelts, pull up your tube socks. It doesn't matter if the stripes aren't matching, guys. Don't be ashamed. You're over here at Boom Jewelry Designs and we're doing a jewelry adventure. <sighs> We're gonna glue this on, cut it out. You know what it is, friends. Let's get started. A little bit of glue on this, guys. I use this Elmer's glue. This has been sitting here for a long time, so it's kind of gunky and it's not exactly new. But you know, when you grow up cheap, you always just hold on to stuff way longer than it needs to be held on to. You know, my I was raised cheap though. My dad was cheap. My dad was so cheap when when the tornado hit our trailer, it did $10,000 in improvements. <laughs> I'm going to cut all this out. And then right down here, I'm going to I'm gonna try to come down a little bit more than I normally would. Maybe. So let's uh, get our saw out, do a little saw work, and just zip through this real quick. It won't be too bad. Every day I'm hustling. Ooh, buddy. <clears throat> All right. This is where we is. And on the back, that's what it looks like. I, I cut these in right here. But the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the eyes. And I'm going to cut out the mouth. And then I will also cut out the nose. I'm <sighs> All right, guys. Was that thoroughly boring? I decided that I'm going to do a technique that I uh, kind of learned by watching Jeff Klein. Shout out to Jeff Klein out there. Um, you guys have probably bought his products. Oh man, that guy is so smart. Selling jewelry components. That's a very smart way to go about your business, guys. I'm sure he makes, and he makes kick butt jewelry. But selling those components, man, that guy. Man, smart, smart dude. Good business savvy. Jeff Klein does this thing where he does a, a stippling kind of effect. And I think if I do this stippling effect and then whenever I, uh, down the road, when I decide to put some black in there with some liver of sulfur, then it'll hold that different color right there. But I need to do uh, a stippling effect that's gonna be, it's gonna look good. And if you can see right here, I did a little tiny bit. I did that much and said, hey, I can do that. So I'm just gonna do it. Jeff said that he uses a sharp nail or a sharp point. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna do that. Now that we have the sticker on here still, and we can see exactly where it needs to be, we're just, we're gonna go for it. So this is gonna take a long time. It's gonna be super duper boring, but I'm gonna do a couple hits. Alrighty, friends, here we are, man. I did all the stippling. You can see on the back where I did the stippling effect. And uh, now I'm going to do the nose. 
So what I did was I just traced the nose and then I'm going to just basically just make it super sized. Rather have more material than not enough friends. As per usual, that's how we roll in these in these main streets out here just trying to survive. All right guys, so I have the nose cut out. I put a little uh, black mark on it so no, I know that's the part that is gonna be facing out. So right here guys, I'm just gonna give it a little, I'm gonna do a little uh, forging right here just to kinda fill it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Now we're kinda looking like this. Okay. So maybe a little bit more of a cute. You really just have to be like a, almost like a sculpture, a sculpture artist when you do this. Cause you're imagining the, the curve. A brushed nickel texture right here. So the face is shiny. The ears are brushed nickel texture. The eyes are stippled. So I can totally do that hat right there, blam. There, so I have the ability, guys, to uh, to do this. It's just gonna take time. It might be a little lumpy, but I'm gonna have to work on it, and I'll just work and work and file and clean and sand and, and get all the lumps out and do whatever I can to get the best finish I possibly can. Okay, friends, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Um, the next step is really to do the hat, guys. So we're gonna go with our handy dandy Elmer's glue. Give a little action on this side. Here we go, friends. Okay, you outlaw rebel jewelry enthusiasts out there. We're gonna go back to doing some stamping. I'm gonna use my little tiny needle files to really try to get some sort of dimension some dimension to this guys triangle file right here friends what are you guys having for dinner tonight man i'm having salmon i'm cooking some salmon on the grill i've been trying to take better care of myself you know i don't know there's nothing else to do make jewelry and take care of yourself do you guys subscribe to the notion that uh, the jewelry carries the energy of the creator of the of that uh jewelry or art, art carries energy. I super subscribe to that that notion. But I'm kind of a hippie, so that's probably why. I don't look like a hippie, but I, I, I have hippie tendencies, you know? I don't know, some of us, many of us do. Especially as artists, you know? All right, guys. That's the hat. Alrighty, friends, we're on this side of the shop, guys. And as you know, uh, this is where I keep my flex shaft, some of you may know. And here I have these uh, diamond, I don't know what they're called, rotary diamond cutting discs. I got these at Harbor Freight. They are 1 8 inch in thickness. Uh, I think they were only like four, five bucks. I think they were, I think they were five bucks. So that's what it looks like, guys, if you guys can see that blade right on there. And I'm gonna try to mimic these lines that are in this. friends I'm gonna grab one of my needle nose uh, files and just kind of give this some dimension kind of soften it up a little bit right in these creases we really hope you are picking up what I am putting down see how I'm creating a little bit of a dimension on that this tape let's take this paper off I'm, I dip it in my quenching bowl back in the old days when I was a heathen I used to lick it but I've learned not to do that. Now, now you have to know that when we take this off, this is not gonna look good. So just know that. Be be mentally prepared. Although that does look pretty dang cool, <laughs> friends. Oh man, we are making our dreams, our dreams come true, guys. Oh, let's dip that again. Let's clean it with the rag.
Okay, let's go to the soldering station. Let's uh, solder this hat on. All right, friends, we're getting ready to solder this gold hat onto this bear's face. Guys, I have this crappy brush I got at the yard sale or something. And I use that to really clean the um, many pieces of solder or silver that might be stuck in my... So I don't have any issues with something getting hot and it's clinging to the back and I'm over there trying to clean that. So. A little bit of uh, actually, you know what? I was trained and I should probably teach you guys this stuff. If you don't know, guys, uh, I was trained using Handy Flux, which is this uh, pasty stuff. She uses this stuff anytime you're using mixed metals, friends. In my education, it, this is does a better job connecting mixed metals. Although I have to be honest, friends, I have done with just regular uh, Mighty Flux and I have, haven't had any issues. But maybe I'm lucky. Maybe um, if you guys are going to watch some of my stuff, I, I want to try to at least do a couple things right, you know. Got to go outside the boundaries a little bit, guys. We're not the first Rebel jewelry designers out there. I'm sure there's a long line of Rebel jewelry designers. I wonder if there's a jewelry design book of jewelry, you know, how they have like rock stars. You can watch, see their biographies and learn about them. Is there jewelry designer books? Because you know jewelry designers like any other artists out there. Comics, rock stars. We all have pain. We all had to overcome pain to become great uh, artists. I don't want to just say just designers, but artists, guys. You know? To make your chances of being successful as much as possible, friends, I think it's important that we do little things like this and we expose the solder. Did any of you guys ever DJ? Spin the wheels of steel? DJing parties back in the days or... I really want you guys to experience this. I'm not trying to cut you guys out. I don't want to over edit where you guys are like, okay, what do you do right then? I, Cause I, I watch those videos sometimes. And I'm like, dang man, show the part. We're close. I think we're close right there, guys. I'm really trying to get this, these temple areas of the hat to really come down. That's the most important. If it does the temples and it probably gets around the brow, the forehead area. I, know, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know what I do is going to be great, friends. Let's do this. Let's take it back over to our station. We'll start working with our forming tools and see if we can get this to look three-dimensional. We are getting ready to form, to create this kind of form on this. So one of the thoughts, I'm going to try this, guys. You guys with it? Let's keep working. What do you guys think, friends? <laughs> yeah, dude, look at that. Dude, that dude looked faded. <laughs> this is great. Maybe a little anneal annealing would make it a little softer. I'm gonna anneal this and make it a little softer. All right, One Needles Villa, I have to show you guys this, man. I put this uh, in my vise and it holds it right there really good. And this has really been working well for me. I, I just went like this. Just slowly move it up the bridge of the nose. Heck yeah, buddy boys. Alrighty, friends. After some preparation, I got this ready. This is the nose. This is uh, brass. All right, guys. I can't let you out of this party. I need to go to bed. But, man, I cannot step away from this. 
Here we go, friends. We're going right here. I'm looking at it left and right. I tinned the back of this brass nose. Okay, I think we got it good, friends. We got it good. I saw a solder seam run. There's one spot that I didn't see it quite run, right under the nose right here. And I'm wondering if that's possibly because it's not touching. That's all right. We have it good right there. That gives us, if it's not touching, what we'll do is we'll, we'll push this out a little bit with our tools, right? And uh, do, 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 do. Make it touch, get it hot again, get that solder to run all the way around. And then we'll work on a little bit of more shaping, but gosh... Okay, friends, I just pulled it out of the acid, and this is what it looks like. Uh, I put some solder underneath there to make sure I got a seal all the way around. But I think we're good here. Looks like copper. That's what it looks like when it's fresh out of the pickle. So, yeah, dude, we're going to put it on 28, 20 gauge back plate. Put a really cool bale on it. A saucy hot dog bale. Hot dog bale, baby. Hey! All right, guys, I am feeling kind of tired. You can see that text, that uh, dimension on there. I'm feeling kind of tired. Um, I'm gonna go recharge my batteries. Maybe I'll just run a couple laps at the local high school at the tra around the track, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, one of those Well, I'm back from my jog, I'm trying to make this as good as we possibly can, friends. So I'm just cutting right inside where I had kind of chiseled out engraved out if you will okay friends we're going to go with the back sheet is going to be 20 gauge that's where the that's where the hook this right here is where the hook's going to be that's going to go with the bail Ooh, buddy all right friends here we are we got it going down his motto is only vibes so if i do something like a o the V. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is trace this. So within this area is where I put the OV. Only vibes is going to go right here. I think I'm going to use. No, I'm going to do silver. I'm going to do silver. Alrighty, one Eatlesville. I know this looks a little hood, but it says OV for only vibes, and I'm going to put this. Uh, Boom, and then boom, stagger it on the back of the pendant. I'm gonna put this on a piece of 24 gauge. Okay, gluttons for punishment, we're in this spot right here, friends. I am going to, I'm looking at this line right here, guys. I put a Sharpie line on the ears. So I'm gonna do some liver of sulfur, some blackening right here on the eyes, the panda eyes. And the ears need to be black too, but I'm not gonna do that stipling effect there. Um, I'm going to do a different effect. I'm thinking maybe like some kind of brushed brushed effect maybe. It doesn't have to go all the way to the end, but a line that denotes the end of the ear. Like an, an artistic rendition, if you will. Do we believe in ourselves? I think we do. Now when I do the texture on the ears, it's really gonna just kind of have its own space away from the face of the... What I'm trying to do right here, guys, is just sand. In the forging process, it makes little bumps there. And uh, I learned how to do that actually watching American Choppers. You know how they have that machine that has this on one side and then this, and then they they roll it but with, between the, on the roller, but they use, uh, also they use a do 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 When they're making the gas tanks and the fenders, you guys know what I'm talking about. Smooth over, and hopefully that mitigates some of those forging bumps. All right, you crazy party animals out there. This is what we have, guys. This is the, oh man. That's... So let's get the, let's get this ready to solder, friends. We're at that point. We're gonna solder this bad boy on, man. Once we do, we're gonna cut the outsides around leaving the place for the 
for the hook somewhere in this area like that and boom I yellow willed that it's pretty clean let's put some flux and some solder on it and then take it to pound town all right one needlesville we're here at the solder station this is pound town this is where we earn our keep friends you know soldering i don't know about you guys but it just is very stressful to me i swear i used to be a lot better looking i used to be so good looking that i could take 10 selfies and i didn't have to delete 11. <laughs> but yeah soldering does put the wear and tear on your friends we're gonna go right here with our uh chad parker shout to chad parker uh, i reached out to chad and he gave me a little some pointers on youtube and a little bit of stuff you know and i know that anything that i needed i know that he would he would uh work to help me and that's i really appreciate that i'm gonna go on this i'm gonna go uh, medium solder friends medium solder <sighs> yeah shout to chad parker man guys out there in in youtube land and you're here at in Juanitosville at U J Boom Jewelry Designs. Please take some time to visit the other jewelry designers and their YouTube channels because I've learned so much from other designers. And it does take a community, guys. We really have to work together um, to get better. And how cool is it? We can... Probably back in the generation before us, they had to get better so slow. And maybe some of you guys out there that might be um, older, I guess, probably before YouTube. YouTube YouTube's not very old, so the knowledge has been out there. But for in the in a format like YouTube, we have gotten good so fast, guys. And some some of you guys new to the game, you are entering jewelry making and design, silversmithing at a great time because the knowledge is out there and you have people like me and Chad Parker and and uh, Lucy Walker and Jeff Klein and people out there that are really working to like Andrew Berry to make you better you know to make your experience better and you know I just love it I love our community I'm really I know I probably sound like a like a hippie or something but i really legit love our jewelry community out there guys so thank you so much please hit like i never say hit like on my videos and uh somebody told me that the, when you people hit like that it makes your channel grow a lot better and and faster and it just puts it in the algorithm so that more people see your video and i think we get caught up in the drama of the adventure that we forget to be like hey you know what i should push like on that I know I do. I watch videos all the time and I forget to push like. Yeah. So I know how it is, guys. I know how it is. Okay, guys. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that. I got that cooked so that the flux was cooked on there. What I'm going to do is uh, everywhere where this bear is going to be touching along the perimeter, I'm going to put solder. So everybody learns a little bit different. So if you learn by watching, this is a great channel for you. And, you know, I what I learned and people have told me, they're like, dude, we really like your commentary is fun. You know, you, you have a good time and, you know, you're just funny. And I don't I, I I'm kind of a funny person in my regular life. Well, not kind of. I'm super funny. <laughs> I'm actually a stand up comedian. I don't know if you guys know that you probably do. I have a stand up comedy. uh TikTok where I have some of my stand-up comedy and my uh, silly skits but I I don't really talk about that that much in my jewelry channel because some people are just here about the jewelry you know they're, sometimes they're just like Benny will you just shut the hell up <sighs> okay friends let's quench this I got a nice tin on that and then we're going to, I will clean this eventually, but first we're going to just take a mock it up and take a look and see where, but I just want to mock it up and see about where the solder is going to be. And it looks like we have a nice amount. I'd like to get a little bit more up towards this hat. I bet it would even increase my chances if I put some solder under here, which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to tin this, uh, the back of this face. I put some bigger pieces on there. All 
All right, guys. Oh, man. I know that's really annoying to have to watch that. And I hope I put that in fast forward. Because I don't want you guys to not want to invite me to your birthday party. Be like, you know what, Benny? We're going to invite you to the birthday party. But that one time when you made us watch us watch you tend two things back to back. Dude, really, Benny? Why are you doing that to our time? I, I'm trying to hurry up, guys. I'm really trying to hurry up. I know you guys got to get out there and make your dreams come true as well. You don't need to be over here beating, letting me clog up your life. I'm not trying to clog up your life, friends. But let's go like this. Let's make this just a little bit wider. Um, be careful when you do that so it doesn't spring on you and you get a hot piece of metal flying right at your neck. I just had a, I just had an epiphany just not then. It's like the things you think right before a hot piece of metal flies into your neck. You know? You know? Oh, gosh. Okay, friends. <laughs> Sorry. Who? What, what laugh is that? What laugh is that, guys? Is that Woody Woodpecker? Woody Woodpecker. It's kind of a funny name. Uh, probably, uh, a little dirty. I don't know. Depending on, on, uh, the way you look at it. But, uh, hey guys, I'm a jewelry designer. I am not the FCC. I am not the moral police. So first guys, right here, this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at what is touching right now. So right here, I see this jawline right here touching. And if I can get that jawline to touch, then I can take the heat off of it. That'll seal right there. And then I can start working my way around it. That's my goal, friends. Let's crank this heat up a little bit. Let's get serious. Let's get physical. Physical. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, man. You know, I see because I can't listen to the dang radio. Or else it's YouTube will strike me for uh, copyright infringement. So I have to sing. Okay, I got a line there, I got a line there. That's what I want. Come on, homie, don't play with me. Okay, all right, I know that was really rough, guys. rough but I was going all the way around until I saw solder run doctor doctor day keeps apples away all right that didn't sound too happy all right so what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna cut this and then I'm gonna pickle it That felt pretty heavy. Hey, buddy, let's roll. Right now, with the pendant, um, lots of heavy sanding because there was some fire scale. But uh, the next step here, friends, is we're going to add one more element to this. And I wanted to show you this bale, guys. I, I kind of held out on you guys a little bit because I got in here and started working. And I didn't show you guys... But you guys can see that. You guys can see how I did that, right? I just cut an S, and then I did my bale. And I found this really cool way to make bales so that they're, like, uniform. And it's basically just a piece of paper, and then you make, like, a, a V shape, and then you just fold the paper in half, and then just cut, cut the paper, and then glue that onto your silver, and then cut that, and then you have, like, uniform because it's two halves of one. So, yeah, that's the bale right here, guys. I'm, I did the flat back. And then I did the curve over the top. That way it could be a Cuban chain. It could be a rope chain. It could be a bigger, a thicker, uh, a thicker chain. So there's, this is kind of a diverse um, way of making a bale so that it fits any kind of superstar chain. This is for superstar chains. Or it could be hemp. It could be anything, guys. It's really up to you. 
So here we are, friends. I have my denatured alcohol and uh, boric acid. And I'm going to put this in here to give it a coating because my goal, friends, is to add some elements to the very back. So I'm gonna heat this up again, but I gotta have this coating. I have my door open. Um, I understand those are kind of toxic fumes, so I probably should be stepping back in the way. But yeah, guys, uh, that is gonna add a coating of, from getting fire scale, guys. We, we're gonna try to keep the piece from getting fire scale. I'm going to tin the backs of, the, of these. These are OV for only vibes. Just getting ready to tin the backs of these, this this O and this V. We're getting, help that spread a little bit. Come on, dude, be nice to me. I'm gonna put this on this wire just so it's a little bit elevated. The face is elevated off the block. Going to, oh gosh. Guys, we're, we're outdoing ourselves. Ah, uh, this is, we're gonna get a general. Oh guys, I wanted to tell you, I, I, I solved uh, the mystery of life. It was uh, Professor Plum in the conservatory with the dagger. I'm sorry, I had to give it away. Get it all kind of the temperature at the same time. Guys, I hope you guys are feeling good out there. I hope you guys are staying busy. We're in a recession or we're about to be, it's gonna be the next few months is gonna be a little bit rough on some people. So if your sales go down, that's probably the economy is not really looking real pretty right now. But we're looking for the economy to pick up, friends, so that we can get back to making some bread. Okay, guys, here we go. I think we got that. I'm going to let that chill and then uh, naturally cool down, What is what I mean. And then we're going to put this bale on and then we will be ready to wrap this bad boy up. <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. Almost there. Alrighty, friends, we're at the tail end of this uh, adventure, guys. We're at the last stage, really typically before polishing, where we put the bale on. And if you guys know from my techniques from before, I basically uh, get it like this, and then right at the opportune time, I give it the little squeeze a Hit the seam a little bit. Oh, that kind of worked. I just hammered right there. A little bit of sprayage. I would like for this to go smoothly. Um, see what I did right there? I just put a little bit right there. Get the, the hard part about this is not burning your fingers. I just want that to melt right into that seam. Maybe it's this angle is bad, the a top angle. Guys, what do you guys think about the angles of my cameras? Do you guys think that's... Do you do you like it? Does it work for you guys? I mean, we're already 66 episodes in, friends. Guys, here we go. We're going right here. I think we did good. Um, let me just take a look at that. Yeah, it's sealed. Okay guys, we got a nice seal. I'm gonna clean this up and round it and do some sanding and get it ready, guys. Alrighty, one Oodlesville, we're here. I just pulled it out of the clinch. I just moved the, the over to the block here. Um, just wanted to look at this with you guys and tell you a little bit of what I learned. Learned, I guess, on this one was forging. I had never shaped anything before and it can be really tricky to to get the bumps out. What I learned was sanding really good. T take some of the superficial bumps out. And that was really helpful. Um, I still have to actually texture the ears. But um, I'm going to do a brush nickel texture on the ears. And, this, and a little bit of a deep brush nickel. So that it holds black. I want to hold black here. And hold black around the eyes. Because uh, it's a panda bear. But this is basically a bear. That's not panda fied yet. But guys... Yeah, um, next time you see this will be its jewelry debut. Debut, Guys, if you guys like this video, please press like. I know it's long. I know these videos are long, but I try to move through them as fast as I can so that you guys don't get bored. And But still show you as much as the process is, is possible. Uh, I have a merch store where I sell my uh, coffee mugs. You guys have seen my coffee mugs. 
uh, Juan Irosville. Um, any support for the channel helps me create more content so I don't get discouraged and quit. Uh, any support helps, guys. I really appreciate it out there. And, and, and if not, just press like. Press like. That's the only support really I need. If you guys press like and uh, share the video or subscribe to the channel, uh, it helps the algorithm. Comment. Comment on there. Uh, comment your Instagram, guys. I want to follow you guys' Instagrams, and you guys can follow me back if you guys want. But I want to see what you guys are doing. I want to see the adventures. You guys inspire me. So please, in the comments, put just your Instagram handle so that I can search you up and add you. And if you see Boom Jewelry Designs, you know what it is, guys. Um, let's support each other. Let's create more community. Do you know what it is? I'm Benny. I'm out of here. You guys are awesome. Make the dreams come true. Peace.